Well, in honor of Women History Month, this amazing woman, Ms. <laughs> Loris Norris from the House of Flawless, is going to talk about what it means like to be, you know, female owned mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. amazing and boss of ladies women. involved in the makeup world. And there are a ton of boss ladies, which I love. Yes, as since you are a big old boss lady. In the makeup world. Yes. At one point, it was seemed like men were dominating uh -huh. the makeup. Even though it was makeup, they were dominating the makeup which is world. crazy because Which like, I, yes, you know, yes. but women stepped up and was like, no, uh huh, we got this, we, 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 got, we got, we got this, we got this, hold my brush and, right. and, and, watch, and watch this. Well, we want to introduce you to some of them. Mm -hmm. You want to start first with uh, Minted Cosmetics? Minted Cosmetics, here's the crazy thing. I can remember Minted Cosmetics when I first started my cosmetic line. We kind of started doing it around the same time. Yeah. She started hers with just different types of nude for women who we all have different nudes. Right. So she started with lipstick, but she just started with nude lipsticks. And all of a sudden, Minted took off, and she's with nude lipsticks, she's with foundation, she's with powders, and she is just amazing. And her cosmetic line is amazing. So that's one boss girl that I love and adore. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. OYS Beauty. OYS Beauty, that this is a new one for me. Um, I tried their highlighters. Absolutely amazing, LYS, I'm sorry. Absolutely uh -huh. amazing, the highlighters are beautiful. Um, black owned, amazing woman, but when she went out there to go, she went. And it's popping off. It's popping off. And it's like when you talk about like clean makeup, very clean, very makeup, no makeup look, but it just has that glow, not a shine, but a glow a gl when you use her stuff. And it's so good. It's I so love good. that. Mm -hmm. And you're saying she's the first ever black owned clean makeup brand sold at Sephora. That I mean, is that's a big, a big deal. deal. That is a very big deal. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. Okay. So now in this day and age, every cosmetic has a beauty blender uh -huh. of their own. But it all started with this legend right here, the beauty blenders. When she came out with her beauty blenders, it stopped the makeup world. Like, wait, should we even be using brushes anymore? Yes, yeah, everybody all day. went. Everybody yeah. went to those sponges, and because of her, every cosmetic line, including House of Flawless, has a beauty blender in it because of what she started. That is so cool. And not like using one every day and say, how, what did you do? Do what you did we do before? A, like, exactly, exactly. I know what I was using, so I was good. using my finger. I'm like, right. that's like <laughs> you're trying to get the blush under there, right. the brush, yeah, like, so yeah, so she's so really, stupid. yeah. She's a, she's a, she's a boss, girl boss. She's yeah. a girl boss. Okay, mm -hmm. if you didn't know about this one, before the Super Bowl, you definitely did. After a lot of people, you know, may even know her makeup oh, brand better than some of her music, yeah, which is seriously. crazy. Fenty. Fenty. <laughs> That's all we have to say. Yes. Fenty, Rihanna, how can you not call her a girl a girl boss? Like she is killing it in everything. She just performed the Super Bowl pregnant. Like uh -huh. it's just like and then did her, like, and so her little makeup check, yes. I was like, Girl. Oh, that was a uh -huh. moment. That right. was a moment. She knows exactly what she's doing, including marketing, of course, but you got to put her on the list. Now, was she into makeup and stuff before she became? I think she was. You I'm pretty like, sure right? like, she was. I'm pretty sure she was. She was always beautiful anyway. So fashionable, yeah. But I'm pretty sure she was already into makeup. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and last but not least, Hmm. I wonder. Uh, the house of freaking flawless. Like, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Alors, I wonder. you have started this and it has grown. I mean, you have books that, you know, are everywhere. <laughs> girl You're boss. Blind. Like, girl oh, boss. oh, girl boss. I can't, I hate talking about myself, but at the same thing, you sometimes you just have to clap for you, yourself. You do have to clap for yourself. You know, and from where I started in my kitchen mixing lipsticks. Yes to having a episode on Apple TV. It's kind of like, girl, pat yourself on the back you a little bit. You did good. You're doing good. I mean, you're, you're in the good. same list with Rihanna. Like, no, I don't know what else though. You're in my well, list, it's right here. Rihanna was right above you, so you're in the same list with I don't know Rihanna. about that, but one day, one day. Uh, yeah. But if I can be beside her in the stores, if you see Fenty here in House of Flawless there, then you'll know. Then I'll know. Yeah. Then you'll know. <laughs> well, I love it. And I love too that you brought attention to it, especially, you know, this time it's like, okay, that's cool. I, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that because mm -hmm. there's so many choices out there we know so when many. you're getting makeup. Maybe, yeah. you know, just knowing who who's makes it. Yeah, who makes it, who owns it, who are you supporting. Yes. Um, it's so many. I, I, I remember I was walking through Publix and I saw. It was rice, women owned rice, and they're telling their story. And it's just like, 
we are really killing it these days. So yeah. I think it's beautiful. Well, love it. Thank you, girl, Thank for, you. For, for bringing this. Laura Norris with the House of Flawless. Look her up.